Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled Fundamentals of Integrating CAD with SAP. This webinar, jointly sponsored by SAP and LeverX, will present a first look into SAP's recent announcement about their new CAD integration framework, as well as providing an overview of SAP CAD integration solutions, tools used to migrate your existing CAD data, and also additional file generation options for your designs, both 2D and 3D. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. Hello, everyone. This is Brian Soper, I'm Center of Excellence Lead for PLM, covering North America for SAP. And wanted to talk to you briefly about our, the SAP announcement last week in regards to our new CAD integration strategy. So if we can go to the next slide. The focus of our strategy is to reframe what we've been doing over the last oh, 10 or 12 years, where we've used a series of products from SAP as well as partners to deliver CAD integration. And so the first thing I want to point out before I get into the details of what the strategy is and the announcement, I do want to make sure that everyone's understanding that as the current strategy exists, Nothing that we're going to talk about today is going to break what you're using today. So if you have CAD integration from SAP and you're leveraging it, you shouldn't take this presentation as a stop what you're doing and, and try to change. It's, you should look at it more as an uh, education so that as you move forward in your CAD strategy, CAD integration strategy, that you're an informed and educated to make the proper decisions going forward. So as we look at the strategy from SAP in the past, uh, we've looked at it, and many of our customers look at an outdated user interface, and then we have partner strategies where the, we have a number of partners who build specific CAD integrations for us, but they were also adding on additional uh, user enhancements or usability enhancements that sit on top of those pieces of functionality. And it was limited primarily to mechanical CAD, at least the offerings from SAP, and then there was other offerings, again, made by our partners. So as we look at the new integration strategy, what we've done is we've uh, licensed a, a new harmonized UI, so a single UI that's going to work for all CAD integrations. So we won't have the need to, to run you know, a separate UI from this partner or a different partner. But we also want to have an extensible platform. So what does this mean? We want to be able to not only support the mechanical CAD, but we also want to have a platform that allows us to move into supporting electrical CAD software and requirements management to enable essentially the full engineering process and not just that of mechanical CAD. So what does that do? If we go to the next slide, we blow up that, that visual a little bit larger. So, uh, you know, at the SAP engineering integration scenario, it, it, as Brian said, is, is to expand the traditional footprint that you know the very functional SAP CAD integration strategies provided in the past for you, and, and lay in with that that new services layer the ability to expand out into the the various tools that the engineering and manufacturing worlds use, and it's really kind of the whole idea of this slide. You know, work and continue the work, the good work we've, that's been done in the MCAD world, mechanical CAD work world. Work deeper into the electrical CAD world then go out into the, the analysis and simulations world and, and work on ma maintaining and working with that type of information. Uh, and additionally, you know, the ability to get out and work with parts contractors. The whole idea being that it's a holistic approach uh, in a, a enterprise document management solution that you can share both internally and externally with all your en direct end engineering and uh, engineering uh, design consumers of information in, in your uh, enterprise. And then, you know, down the bottom right-hand side is after you get all that information that you have in for your CAD and, and simulation style world is the ability to harvest that out using the SAP 3D Visual Enterprise to proliferate that information to all the users in the enterprise. Hello, hi, I'm Mark Manager. I will be taking over and doing a SOLIDWORKS demo here. 
So let me go ahead and uh, get myself down and, and show you if the saw works. Okay, oops. There we go. Wrong run minimize. Okay. All right. So I've already logged into to SolidWorks, and first thing I want everyone to notice is I have a few extra buttons on here. So if you're familiar with SolidWorks, you'll see we have the some SAP buttons, and a, and this is the login SAP currently. But I'm going to open up my SolidWorks file first, just to show you that you can go ahead and work on your SolidWorks file without. Okay, here we go. I'm going to open up the jig fixture. So this is a jig fixture I cur was currently working on, and now I'm ready to share my data and get into SAP. So I've worked on it on my own desktop. Notice on the left, you can see my assemblies. They're just normal names without any kind of part number yet. And so now I want to share this with the world. 